guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 9 of season 2 of the quintessential quintuplets. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, you know, I'm so excited for you guys. I mean, she right though. <laughs> For money. <laughs> Hire one more. Uh, Nino. <laughs> like I said, in the end, just hire them both. Yes. Just choose them both. <laughs> mm. Poor Miku. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, Miku could still work there as like a cashier. Oh, me too. See, something tells me that what Miku wants to do career wise is be a baker. She'll find something. <laughs> it's the love you best girl, oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> hey, it happens. I mean, even though it's like, okay, you can obviously tell, like, Nino possibly wants to be a baker as well. Because, I mean, did you see her cake? Like, Miku, Miku is more of, like, with her cake, it was A for effort. I really did like her cake. But the biggest thing is, you know, it's about how it looks, how it tastes, how, how it makes you feel when you're eating cake. I don't know. <laughs> but I think... You know, if Miku ends up working at the bakery across the street, um, 
it'll teach her how to be better. And she'll possibly love it so much to the point where, yeah, she's going to want to turn it into a career. I just can't think of, like, what the hell either Yotsuba and Itsuki would do. They're, they're the only two as of right now who I have no idea what the hell they want to do for the rest of their lives. Wait, no, hold on. No, because she said, no. Itsuki said it a couple af- episodes ago. She wants to be a teacher. So, Yotsuba, what the fuck you want to do? <laughs> Maybe Yosuba also likes to work with children or something. I don't know. Or Yosuba likes to clean, so... I don't know. Hmm. Would that even be a good job, though? Can we tell who the main characters are in this picture? Overly shining on me. Hmm? What's up, Yasuba? Seriously? Yeah, it just seems like Yotsuba just wants to be a helpful person. So, I mean, what the fuck kind of job is that in a career life? Oh. Hmm? Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, because mostly everybody just wants money. But, I mean, working out will help with your stamina, so... bunny ears <laughs> no, it's cute mm-hmm but like bunny ears Uh. <laughs> Me. <laughs> 
Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Right? I mean, it, it just happens. It's something about him. Hell, I think most of us as the audience has fallen in love with Furtado as well. Because, in a way, I think I have. <laughs> he gets on my nerves sometimes, but, like, he's still cute. No, Nino, babe, I still think you're in the lead. Hell, I mean, as of, like, best girl poll, you're seriously still number one. And I'm happy about that, because she's my best girl. Look at her, she's so cute with her little ponytail. Oh, that looks so good. That looks like cheesecake. That looks like Itsuki. Nino.
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I told you! I think I just teared the crap out of my neck. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and it's okay, since I need to take them off anyway. <laughs> okay. Ha <laughs> 
This just got even more complicated. Oh fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> the fact that Ichika would say that as Miku, like, oh god. That's now two for two. We just need the rest of them to say some shit. <sighs> Is it probably gonna be awkward between him and freaking Ichika? <laughs> yeah. Oh god. I can't. This too much. Why'd you do this? Oh my god, no. Oh, I can't. You know Itsuki is getting paid for that review shit. Come on now, we all know it. That's how she getting her money. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's cute that she would go under a name called May. Like, so adorable. But honestly, like, mm -mm. I don't know how this is gonna end. I mean, we're getting closer and closer to the finale. And now that we have... Two girls confess, well, not really, but still, it's still Ichika, so yeah, we can count it, um, to have the two out of the five confess, and we're waiting for Izuki, Yotsuba, and actual Miku. I don't know. And then, of course, he has to choose one in the end, and, you know, everyone who has their certain fave best girl, you over here like, God damn it, like, I want you to choose my best girl, me, I'm just like... I, I want him to choose Nino. I want him to choose Ichika. I want him to cho choose really all all of them. But uh-uh, this ain't no fucking sister wives shit. Like, no, we're not doing that. That's a big no-no in my book. Um, But still, no matter what, like, whoever he's going to pick in the end, he's going to break the hearts of four other girls. And that's the one thing that I'm truly afraid of because, you know... Us as females, we take rejection a lot more than some guys. I, I've met some guys who have been rejected by someone who they've had a crush on, whether it's a guy or a girl. And some guys have gotten really, really heartbroken over that and such. But I, I don't know. I, I mean, after a little bit, yeah, they're going to be hella peeved, but then eventually they're going to accept it and accept whoever Futada was going to choose in the end, which... In my opinion, I still think it's going to be Miku. As someone who has not read the manga, but just the relationship and how they've 
shown it. It's my number one pick is Miku. If it's not Miku, my second pick is Nino because Nino was the first one to confess. But now I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, we got two confesses. Somebody's gotta have like a first kiss at least before this damn show ends. Like, honest to God, because if this show ends where nobody finally places a move on him, I ain't gonna be mad. I'm just gonna be a little peeved about it for a couple minutes and I'll be like, okay, I get it. But there there needs to be. And I guess the fact is, like, probably in the manga, that didn't happen. Like, nobody probably got their first kiss until whoever he married, uh, essentially, and such. But I just want to see it. They could do an anime only. They could, they could you know, yeah, go anime only route. They ain't got to go. We can make a filler. We ain't got to go with, you know, the manga and stay with the manga. We can just turn around, make a left. You ain't got to go right, make a left, and then, you know, go into our own little mess and some shit like that. I don't know. Y'all do what y'all ever want to do with this show, but I, I, I figure, like, they're, they're going to do something. They're going to give this show, with the last few weeks that we have left with this show, I really don't know what the hell they could do. But they're, to me, either they're going to possibly follow the manga up until its ending or they're going to give it, like, a filler anime-only type ending where, like I said everybody gets a happy ending and we get to see all five girls like a different point in time where they are the the girl that he chose in the end possibly i really don't know but we gotta wait and see but other than that guys that was my reaction view towards episode nine of season two of the quintessential quintuplets if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next thursday for episode 10 Bye, guys.